Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Leela. Um, for this video, I thought I would show off the Imitation K-Drama Limited Edition soundtrack. So not really an unboxing because I've already opened it and gone through it because I'm very impatient and couldn't wait until I could actually film doing so. But I wanted to show it off to you and show off um, what it comes with and then give my thoughts on it a little bit um, as we go. And also, I really loved this drama uh, quite a lot. Um, so I immediately pre-ordered the limited edition OST whenever it became available. Um, so I was really excited. It took a little while to get here, but um, it's here and I'll show it off to you. Oh, the limited version comes as this box set that you see here. Um, show all the different sides. Um, and it comes with uh, this kind of outer case and then four different albums, a photo book, and then a um, photo card collection binder, um, which is uh, pretty cute. I will say, um, this is from MakeStar, um, and when it came, you know, I'm not doing an unboxing, so I'm not showing you my first impressions, but it came with this, as you can see, it kind of oddly fits in the case. And to fill the space, they put this plastic thing in there like this, <laughs> which I will say was like disappointing. I was like, that's, like that, that was kind of cheap and not my favorite look. Um, I have mixed feelings about this box set in general, um, about the way it kind of turned out. The packaging overall is pretty cheap and not one of the nicer products that I've seen or OST um, packaging that I've seen. So taking the um, it all out of the outer case, is, this is what you end up with. So we can go through it um, a little bit. Uh, as I kind of talk through, oh, there's some plastic, as I kind of talk through what's included. So that if you know the drama, which I'm sure you do if you're watching this video, uh, it contains like four faux K-pop groups and um, one of them is sparkling. So each of them has their album in the um, OST. So here is Sparkling's album, that's the CD. And it comes with just a poster, a folded poster inside the actual individual album. That you can see here, it's a poster of the group Sparkling. And then on the back, it has some information. Oh, I guess it has the lyrics to I'm a Diamond. They're very deep, if you can't tell. Um, la 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 la, breakdown, la 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 la. Finally, now it's my time. <laughs> uh, H Who's Who, I only know Sparkling. Um, but yeah, uh, that, that's the poster, but then it doesn't really have anything else actually inside. And this is kind of like a plastic case that a DVD would come in, not really so much like an album or a CD. So the actual packaging for the individual albums that are inside is pretty disappointing. Like this is, they, they did the least, um, you know. Part of me would have preferred even if they would have put the, the albums, the four different CDs, in just like a CD jewel case. I think that might make a little bit more sense, um, but, you know. And this is the Tea Party one. Um, you can see here, Tea Party. We love Tea Party, and that's the CD for Tea Party. Turn it right side. It's really cute, I mean, for what it is. And then there's, again, a Tea Party poster. Not a lot to it. And then lyrics on the back for the songs. And shacks. Um, and there's the CD for shacks. I haven't tried to play these to see if like only their songs are on each of their CDs, which would be kind of kind of cute. But again, most of us collectors don't actually use the CDs that we buy. <laughs> um, so there's Shacks, ATs who only know Sparkling and Shacks. Um, so that's the song lyrics and things. 
and then La Lima. We didn't see her kind of logo or design in the show, so I, I will say that's probably not my favorite of all of them, but her poster is cute. And the purple on the back with the lyrics and things. So that's the four albums that come in the box set. We'll set them to the side for a moment and then go over some of the other things. Um, it comes with a photo book, which I will say is probably the, the nicer bit of the inclusions. This is the nicest part of it. Um, I like the glossy names on the back. It's really pretty. It's quite a thick photo book. Mm, so let me move some stuff out of the way and do a flip through. So I'll go ahead and flip through it uh, kind of quickly. The, the photo book is really nice. It has sections for each of the groups. Um, and the pictures are really nice. Again, uh, I, I love this drama. Clearly, I loved it enough to buy an ugly OST box set. Um, <laughs> it's probably one of my favorites ever. Definitely one of my favorites of this year. And Dojin is my Shax bias, if you didn't know. I mean, he's amazing, and I need Shax to be real so he can actually uh, debut. Even though technically um, Yuri, the actor, has, has debuted, um, he's done a couple of, like, solo or duo songs that I, have, I haven't seen much of them, but um, I, I love him. I follow his Instagram. If you don't follow his Insta, I highly recommend it. He's like a supermodel, um, and I adore him. He was my favorite character in the show, too. The duo of him and Hyuk are, um, the, they were just iconic and legendary and kind of saved the show in, in a lot of ways. They were so cute. And that's uh, the from the final concert of the last episode. Shax and then Tea Party. We love our Tea Party girls. Stan Tea Party, Maha. Their, <laughs> their outfits. Uh, the school outfits were actually pretty cute. These are cute too. Oh, look at them. They're so cute. Uh, my, my tea party bias is Rhea, Leah. Um, they're so cute. Look at these photos. Oh, that looks different. I don't think I've seen those outfits. I think it's from that very brief scene where they show them taking photographs for their album. Cute. Legend, the icon, the vocal legend. I'm blanking on what her name the actress's name is is it min sue no sorry uh she's amazing too follow her on instagram <laughs> she's an amazing singer sparkling eugen <laughs> uh i loved his character he did such a good job uh you know he did such a good job in his first acting gig like good for him i love it you know drama actor yunho we stan uh I love all the sparkling and all the AT's members of sparkling are like the, the good members. And then the one guy who is an actor is the total jerk. <laughs> I, I love that they did it that way. It's really funny. It's like, Hmm, can you spot what's different here and which one's the jerk? Uh, but he got his redemption in the end. So we'll, we'll take it. Um, these are so cute. I'm a diamond. It's, that song is such a meme. It's so funny. Oh, I love it. Lima, our queen who broke the stereotype of the mean girl character that you thought she was going to be, who turned out to be a legend in the end. We love her. Character growth. Um, she turned out to be one of my favorite characters in the end. Love her. And her song is actually really good. Both of her songs are probably of the OST of the fake k-pop group songs her songs are probably some of the best they're really good and these are all um photos from the different episodes of the drama sorry this book is a little harder to flip through so the beginning episodes that really really sad scene my goodness and their funny dresses cute the award show their drama that they filmed Shaq's walking up the stairs, legendary. Oh, hello.
This is cool. You kind of get to, oh, oh man, it was so sad. Um, I, again, I said I love this drama, and I mean it. I watched every episode at least five times, except for the last episode, because it was just too sad. I watched it the one time, and I couldn't watch it again. I am happy with the way the drama ended, and I'm glad they went back and, oh, look at him. He's so pretty. Uh, they, they went back and kind of wrapped up the storyline and really focused on that, but they did it in such a way. It just made me cry. It was so sad, um, and it was really sweet. I, I love the way the show ended. A lot of dramas, they they fizzle out and they end in a way that's just really frustrating. Um, true beauty, hint, hint. Um, but this one, I, I love the way it ended. I like the in concert and stuff. It was so good. Oh, look at look at the two of them together. We ship it. They're so cute. See, the photo book is so nice. The, this made it worth it, even though the album packaging is ugly as sin. Um, this is cute. Love it. And the all the groups together at the concert in the end. Love it. And then I guess there's some credits there. Yeah. Cool. The photo book, totally worth. Really nice. Wish they would have made it so the size that they didn't have to put a piece of styrofoam in the box to make it fit. Like, what was that? Last thing in there were some photo cards and other inclusions, but they also gave you this limited photo card binder. Um, this is one page. And then it has pages that fit photo cards. I have my own photo card binder, so I won't use this. Um, and the quality of the pages isn't really that great or anything. But it's a really cute idea to include a photo card binder in the um, inclusions. I thought that was really cute. And here also at the back, they include like um, bands like you would have as, the, as you enter the concert. So one for each group. Checks. And then also a sticker sheet for each group. Tea party, these are so cute. I'm never going to use them because they're too precious, but it's really cute. Alima. Sparkling, I'm a diamond. I'm a diamond, excuse me. And then Shax. These are really good. I like the stickers, they're really cute. It also came with this um, kind of ticket, like the ticket to the final concert of the, th the last thing, and it's on hollow paper. So it's really cute. I'm going to definitely put this in my photo card binder. Um, that's a nice inclusion that they made. They also gave one decorated photo card top loader. Um, it came just like this with all of the decorations on the front, which I think is really cute. And I put my bias, my Shaq's bias, um, his photo card in it. It's really cute. So I'll probably display it like this. Um, I thought that was a cute idea for an inclusion. And then they gave a photo card set with photo cards for all members of all the groups, which I think is really nice. Um, if you watch my photo card collection video, you'll know that um, I actually made Shaq, Sparkling, Olima, and Tea Party photo cards on my own. I just made them, have them professionally printed so they look really good quality before we knew that we were gonna get photo cards in the OST. Um, so I'll compare the real photo cards to the ones that I made. <laughs> um, uh, but these are really cute, so we'll go through them really, really um, quickly. So this one, Tea Party, it's so cute. That's a really good picture. And all the, the photo card pictures are from the concert that happened in the final episode, um, which I think is a good choice. They're really cute. I, selfies are always preferable for photo cards, but if not, these are nice. I, I like them. Tea Party. And Sparkling. That one's a really pretty photo card of Son. Look at that. Aw, pink haired Son. Legendary. AT's Who, We Only Stand Sparkling. And then that one. I like the backs. And that one's so pretty. Look at that. Aw. And then the Shaxx or Yeah, the Shaxx members. Devil Shaxx. And I'm glad they included him. I didn't know. If they would, I included him in my photo cards for Shax um, because I knew he would return even before we saw the final episode. Spoiler alert. Oh, look at that. It's so pretty. Oh, 
Also so pretty. Lalima. And as I mentioned, sorry for the glare here on my, my filming setup, but this is the section of my photo card binder for OST. So these are true beauty photo cards. I just thought I'd show them. And these are the photo cards for all the imitation groups that I made. Um, so I made two sets, a set of selfies and a set of uh, concept cards. Um, and then those are the backs that I designed. And these are the sparkling ones, a set of selfies, and then, sorry, all this glare at and then a set of concept cards for sparkling and then checks as well. Um, so I like my photo cards and I like the real ones too. I'm happy to put them all in my binder and then these are KDA photo cards that I made. Um, so uh, I think they, the real ones turned out pretty good alongside mine, even though I'm a little biased towards mine because they're selfies and they're really cute. So that's the Imitation K-Drama OST limited edition box set. Um, it, it, it has its good parts and its bad parts. I definitely don't regret buying it or anything. I think the photo cards are really nice and I'm glad to have them. This little top loader was a really cute addition. The photo book is beautiful, but the actual box set packaging and the album packaging is a bit not great. It's like actually quite bad, um, but it was really cute. So um, I'm you know happy to get to show it off to you because I don't think a lot of people got this. This is one of the probably rare pieces of my album collection so I thought I would make a video about it and I hope you enjoy it. If you did, leave me a comment about what you thought about Imitation the Drama in the comment section and what you think of the the album and if you got it. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching everyone. Bye!